What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, Don with the Don Franz Show. Uh, like I told you guys, we, we moved the Wednesday show to Tuesday. I thought I could do, do a, 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 get some more information out sooner, I guess. Uh, then on Thursday, we'll do a quick, uh, Just these should be pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to go over the markets like I normally do. So the dollar, the Russell, the NASDAQ, the S&P, all over there on my watch list. Um, and then if there's there's something uh, popular, like with tonight, we're going to go over uh, Neo's earnings. Uh, and and kind of how I played that. So just to get right into it, we'll talk about the dollar. Uh, the dollar gap down. I don't think I took a play or... I did. I went long. The uh, the British pound US dollar? I did. Uh, so I didn't do that. Uh, in fact, that is actually down. Uh, that was a play I took last, last night. Yes, yeah, so we're coming out of this zone. What are we in for? Okay. So coming out of the candles look a little bit different. Yeah, so I took this last night. So my entry is just right here. So technically, we are in the red. Nothing really. Uh, let me take that play. Yeah, we took it coming into this right here. So uh, my stop is below that zone. Nothing really to worry about here. That is short the dollar. So keep on, keep on, keep coming down. Uh, right now, we definitely kind of have this like uh, borderline pin it. We're seeing some lower highs. Well, if we're looking at it, actually, we have lower highs right here. Not so much higher lows. Kind of more of a flat area right there. Uh, so we will have to just keep an eye on this area right here. Um, keep an eye there. Hang on, it's going to bug me. Let me just bring that back. Okay. So on with the, the Russell. Okay, so I'm actually, even though I'm kind of hoping tomorrow is a, a gap in crap, like we push up overnight, take profit Friday, we sell off. Uh, I think the sellers should have shown up here. Coming into this zone, we should have seen some sellers. Now we see, we saw a little hiccup right here. So there's some sellers on the type one. Here's some more sellers on the type two. They hang out here again, uh, but buyers are picking this back up. Is this my other channel? So here's my other channel. If, if you're curious... Uh, let me just go. So these are all to the point. These are all shorter videos. They're not live streams. Uh, but if you go to playlist again, how I trade stocks, watch that. It should get you up to speed. So when I say that's a, a type one, that's a type two, but we're holding out. So we're looking for the continuation. All of that should make sense. And in, in that video, it's just a few videos in there. Again, you're on the Don Franz show. It's Don Franz trading, no spaces. Uh, I would appreciate if you actually went in and subscribed to that. Uh, anyway, kind of looking for the continuation now. So even if tomorrow we do sell off, um, I gotta, I gotta say I'm looking for the dip buy. I think. Uh, so right now, bull flag or reversal. That, that's the two sides of the coin that's coming out of this one. We're, we're breaking up or we're breaking down. Ultimately, this zone's going to hold. We will see some sellers or we break up and out of here. We're going to watch for some sellers up here in this area. Let's check the weekly. So far, the one thing that's concerned me so far, not so much this, this. Let's keep let's keep all the same stories same. The other two are gonna probably make more sense. If we sell off tomorrow, that's gonna put it right down here. That's gonna be a doji candle. Now, if you're subscribed, notification bell on, all the cool jazz everyone talks about. On Sunday, when I went live, we talked about a pullback. We would like a pullback after this run, just running right up. Now this purple zone is a weekly zone, so it makes sense to be on the weekly chart. I talked about on Sunday, this week might just be BS. Might be some up, might be some down. You're going to see a bright green candle, bright red candle, ultimately going to end in a doji, and then next week we pull back. So if we do take profit tomorrow and we are inside this zone, that's what I'm going to be on the lookout for. For now, uh, this this move up is pretty impressive. You can, you can technically call those red candles. Those are nothing. If we go back to any smaller time frames, those aren't really pullbacks. That is hardly a sideways action. Now, stocks go side, they're going to pull over or they'll pull back. So I kind of like that we're at least doing something of that. Buyers are either losing momentum or the bulls, they're just catching their breath for the next leg up. So if we do sell off tomorrow and we do end up here again, I just wonder how much I was right on Sunday. Uh, we're kind of just back to that. Uh, again, the, the push up was very impressive, and maybe we're back to that. Maybe we're just buying everything. So that's why, until we do get that and we do get the red candles, I have to lean towards the uh, the bullish side of things. I really wanted a pullback to this yellow zone. That's where I'm buying. I'm taking an L or I'm getting the best dip buy. Uh, if we, we pull back in this, so I'm thinking maybe we doji this week. 
Uh, and then next week we kind of bleed off down here. That's the dip buy for me. Or we just melt off into new lows and I took a loss. Uh, as far as the S&P goes. Now, I wanted to pull back to this zone. So kind of same thing. We're hitting a weekly zone here. So let's see if we reject or if we hold. Uh, personally right now, I am long this in the futures right now. Uh, definitely playing a game of ping pong back and forth. Uh, but I really will. So let's say we sell off right here. Uh, and then next week we do pull back. I like that zone for the dip buy. Uh, but, you know, if, if financials are going to make a run for it, uh, if that's going to end up being a bull flag and continuing, we'll watch IWM push up. We'll watch the S&P hold even if uh, the NASDAQ is pulling back. So something to keep an eye out for. When we do look at all of these, we'll do it really quick one last time. Uh, it kind of hasn't really been fair. So here's the IWM, right? So we're full-blown 23 24% down. Here is the NASDAQ. Let's get that back. So from the top, from the peak, right here, all the way down, we are, again, 23%, just over. Uh, when we go to the S&P, right here, we didn't we didn't crash. Now we pulled back, that's, that's all that was, 14, almost 15%. That's it, we might have just completely avoided a, a crash in the S&P. Now, uh, again, so the IWM isn't recovering as fast as these two, but if it starts to recover while the NASDAQ pulls back, it will hold enough weight to hold this up too, and then we'll be just fine. So this one might not get as much of a pullback. Uh, so tech might be pulling back. That's some distance to cover to that zone. This one might not pull back as much. So something I do like right now, I think this will move just slow enough to, to keep people in and keep the emotions out. Uh, so as it sits right now, watch out for that, hoping we gap up. Uh, and it's just a gap in crap tomorrow. I, I like gap ups on Friday because I'll put my stop in the green and no news is good news. If I don't have an alert going off, then I'm still in stuff. Uh, I don't really trade much. I'm one foot out the door on Fridays. I'm ready for the weekend. As much as I think the weekends are boring because I, I can't trade on them. Uh, Fridays, things just trade characteristically different. Let's talk about Neo before I get out of here. Uh, so what I did today was I bought some 22 calls. They're about 100 bucks, uh, and I bought 10 of them. They pushed up. They're up 30%, just over. Uh, I was going to sell some calls against it. I was even thinking about locking them in. But I decided if we're going to see a pop, uh, it sucks to see them down right now. Uh, but I, I took a gamble. I haven't been in NEO in quite some time. But we've seen some money flow into some China stocks. Uh, looks like they just released their, their numbers. We saw this after hours pop up. I thought, that was golden. Anyway, what I did was I sold five. So I kept five of them up there. So locked in, locked in some money. Uh, if they just get completely smoked, uh, then ultimately it'll be an L. But as long as that gaps up in the morning, as far as earnings plays go, uh, guys, I take the play, uh, and then the next morning I'm up or I'm down. The positions usually close. Unless it's completely down, then I'm just riding it out. Uh, I don't. Earnings just aren't really an income source. They're a fun gamble. They're a roulette. It's going to be up or down tomorrow. There's an announcement. The reaction is going to be up or down. We can, we can look at the numbers. Uh, they it looks like they they estimated was to a loss of 14 cents per share, and they reported negative 17. Big deal. Uh, surprise. Uh, you know, to each zone. They, you can look at those numbers all you want. Uh, but then there's the guidance in there. They're still all the same. Same manipulation that can occur anywhere else. Uh, so if that does hold, it looks like I will be down. You had one shot, Neo. One shot. I was going to be back in. I was rooting for Neo. Unbelievable. Uh, no, if it does break that zone, I got to go back back to bearish. That is my alert. I'm going to keep that there. So if we do get a leg down, I'll check it out and see if we make a higher low. If it starts to turn around, Neo's got one more play. I mean, as, as much as I was just kidding, or as much as I was joking about that, uh, anyway, I'm just kidding uh, about hating it because it's down. If I see this, bear flag or reversal, I will buy and put a stop right here. And that'll kind of be like, you know, if that breaks, I'm just going to be out because when we zoom out... Remember that little life hack I taught you guys about trading? If it goes from the top left to the lower right, why are you buying it? You got to have a reason. If you can have a reason, then you're on to something. If you don't have a reason, if you're just buying because it it's down or, oh, look, it's cheap, those aren't reasons. Those are reasons to lose money in this market. So, anyway, right now we saw after hours pop. Earnings gets released a little bit later. Uh, it looks like they might have, yeah, like I said, they, they just got released and, and we're headed south right now. Sucks. So we'll see what happens pre-market. Ultimately, that's my analysis. Bullish above this blue zone. Don't want it breaking below, though. So anyway, I'll end it here.
We'll see you guys. Oh, if you are a YouTube member, you click the join button. Uh, make sure you go to the community tab and uh, give me your ticker. YouTube members get their own stream on Saturday. Uh, so go in there, throw your ticker in there, uh, and I will see everybody else in the next. I'll see you guys Sunday. Have a good one.